Now, we begin with the intensifying public discourse about the mystery 17 billion chilling oil importation. And tonight, Busia Senator Okia Mtata is claiming that the government financed businesswoman Anjeri Njoroge to import the controversial fuel through the diesel subsidy program. Now, Senator Mtata also wants the cabinet secretaries Davis Chirchir and Kiptumba Murkomen to come clean over their alleged involvement in the deal. A deal, he claims, has now gone sour. Seth Olale with more. Armed with a pile of documents, Busia Senator Okia Omtata claimed that the 17 billion oil shipments was financed by the government with businesswoman Angelinja Roge being the importer. Russia does its own things. According to Omtata, there is sufficient evidence linking the National Treasury and Ministry of Energy to an unauthorized withdrawal of 17 billion shillings from the Consolidated Fund in June this year to finance a subsidy transaction to an unidentified private enterprise through the diesel subsidy initiative that was announced by the government to cushion consumers against the spike in fuel prices. Then when you go and look at this statement of that monthly expenditure, you realize some big, big withdrawals that are beyond, you know, they're only given 0 .7, 0 0.7 billion. But you find there was a withdrawal when Honorable uh, Kuri Atani was still the Minister for Finance. In September, they withdrew 16 point something billion. Then sometime in April, there was a withdrawal of 9 billion. Then in June, there's a withdrawal of 17 billion. Now, when I was looking at it now, what caught my eye is the 17 billion shillings. Here, there's somebody non descript claiming that 17 billion worth of cargo of oil. The ministers are saying the oil is not theirs, it belongs to Galana. Galana is quiet, he's not saying anything. And now, I look at what did this 17 billion do that was withdrawn in uh, June, towards the end of the financial year. You are told the money went to do what? To subsidize private enterprises. So my question is, subsidizing private enterprises, first of all, there was a policy of government that subsidies have gone out. So which private enterprise is being subsidized? And then the figure of 17 billion is exactly the same figure of the oil that's, being, that's coming in. The Busia legislator further claims that the 17.2 billion shilling oil importation saga is a deal gone sour between senior government officials in President William Ruto's administration and Anne Njeri Njeroge. That 17 billion is what was given to this lady, or was a lady was the mule through which that 17 billion was carted out. And now the cargo that is coming is the, is the laundering product. So that it now comes, gets into Galana, and then it can become cleaned money that can be accounted for. So this lady was basically a mule that was used. Omtata is questioning why Cabinet Secretaries Davis Chilchil and Kipchumba Mutkomen are responding on behalf of Galana Energies, the said owner of the oil consignment, according to the government. I then challenged Mr. Murkomen, who's a good friend of mine, and I'm challenging Mr. Churchill to come out clean and tell us two things. One, why are they the spokesmen of Galana? Galana is a private company. JR is a private entity. Two private entities are fighting over a product. What was the role of the government in that product? Senator Omtata now wants the controller of budget, Margaret Nakango, to explain the circumstances under which 17 billion shillings was withdrawn from the consolidated fund without her approval and that of parliament to allegedly pay an unidentified private oil dealers through the diesel subsidy initiative. It is not just the 17 billion that is missing. We have 63 billion that is missing from the Ministry of Energy, of which only 5 billion had been properly 
approved. And I think the five billion did their work, that was their budget, that was the estimate they gave Parliament for their efforts. So when you take five billion out of 63, you remain, you remain with about 58 billion shillings that is not accounted for in the Ministry of Energy. Energy CS Davis Chilchil maintains that businesswoman Anjali is not the owner of the multi-billion shillings oil consignment and alleges that the oil trader presented forged documents to lay claim to the 100,000 metric tons of diesel while the commodity belonged to Galana Energies. Seth Olale, Citizen TV.